Hello my viewers. Well, it's Sunday and I have a couple of honeydews on my list today. One thing I'd like to share with you today is how to clean the condensing coil on the domestic refrigerator. I opted to clean the condensing coil on my refrigerator. And it's, I'm sure, getting kind of dirty. The coil is underneath here. Okay, now the easiest way for me to get to it really is from the back side. So I'm going to pull the refrigerator out. Okay, before you pull the refrigerator out of, from the wall, you need to be sure that your water line for your ice maker isn't going to be pulled out. And of course your cord isn't going to get yanked from the refrigerator or the wall. Now, I need to pull this out a little bit further. Just wanted to show you, first of all, to be careful before you start pulling too hard. You want to know where all these things are in the back of your refrigerator. Now I have the refrigerator pulled out from the wall far enough to where I should easily be able to get back there and work on it. Now, right down here there's a panel I need to remove first. Okay, now I now I can remove this panel after removing the screws and it's uh, you can see here the condensing coil. Okay. Another item you want to do is pull this condensate pan out and clean it. I can grab a hold of it. <laughs> Ow! <Whoa. laughs> oh God! Okay, you can see underneath the refrigerator where some of the things are pretty dusty. We need to clean this debris from underneath this refrigerator. It's amazing what you can find when you're moving a refrigerator. Okay, now I'm going to use my vacuum here with this attachment just to clean up around the area first. Okay, now I'm I put it I'm putting my vacuum on reverse as in to to make like a blower to blow everything from underneath outward. Okay, now I'm going to put the this piece of cardboard back into position and screw everything back in the way it was. 
One thing you want to make sure of is that you do plug in your refrigerator once you're finished cleaning and are ready to push the refrigerator back into position. Once you finish cleaning underneath that refrigerator you're probably going to have a lot of dust bunnies all over your house like I do right now. It's well worth having to clean the floor because now I know that the refrigerator is, is working 100% efficient.